you know that one out of five adults in Europe are affected by chronic pain? That's about 100 million people suffering day by day. Pain is one of the most common reasons for which people seek medical attention. My name is Gabriel Berchi. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Grünenthal. At Grünenthal, we consider it our responsibility to work on innovative solutions for pain treatment. Our scientists have defined a pain landscape containing over 100 different pain conditions. Many of these indications are yet to be fully understood and often lack a proper medical treatment. Therefore, we see it as our commitment together with patient representative, the academic scientific world, policy makers to develop new life-changing medicine for these patients in areas with a high unmet medical need. Chronic and recurrent pain is a frequent healthcare problem impacting functioning and quality of life. It's very frequently associated with sleep disorder, anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, among many other symptoms. Acute and chronic pain has really a high economical and social burden. Very often, adequate pain treatment is not available or not accessible. Pain is a condition for which expertise is spread unevenly across EU member states and there will really be added value to improved cooperation. Patients, for example, dealing with complex regional pain syndrome, bladder pain, vulvodynia, spinal injury, very often have insufficient access to or inadequate pain treatment. Sometimes there is just no therapy available. Better pain treatment plays a key role in lifting the burden not only for the individual patient, but also for the society. Hurdles for patients to access adequate pain therapy include lack of training of medical professionals, restricted resources and restricted access, cultural attitudes which are different uh, by country, as well as regulations and policy not necessarily addressing the societal impact of pain. However, these hurdles are not unconquerable. They can be addressed by working together. The social impact of pain is a unique platform bringing together multiple stakeholders like patients, healthcare providers, politicians, payers and many more involved in shaping the future pain policies. The SIP platform raises awareness for the impact that pain has on society. This year's SIP symposium in Malta is a great opportunity to discuss topics like pain as an indicator for healthcare systems, best practices and future policies for pain treatment in Europe. The excellent cooperation of all SIP partners is a benchmark for national and European initiative to strive for a consistent pain policy. Therefore, I am deeply convinced that if all stakeholders here, patients, academia, policymaker, industry, joins their forces together in the SIP platform, we can achieve a lot to relieve the societal impact of pain for both the patients and, of course, society.